This test is required by the class association. These boats are designed to be the safest in the world and um, this is the strict, one of the strictest tests that they will do in sailboat racing. Um, the Open 60 class for single handed racing um, requires this of every new boat uh, this to be done. The test is required in, in um, a basin like this, of course with the mast off, because you would break the mast if you did this with the mast up. And of course you'd need 100 feet of water next to the dock and that's, that's really impossible to find. And um, so they make you do it this way. Uh, in reality, if you were in the open ocean with waves big enough to turn you over, then those waves would probably write you as well. Inside the boat there's all kinds of compartments and, and bulkheads, so I'm only in one small area of the boat, but the, the rest of it, of course, is watertight. It's perfect. Pretty extreme boats, and uh, these boats are the most powerful sailboats in the world, so um, you can imagine it's a Grand Prix, it's a Formula One type of uh, scenario with this type of boat. While the boat is upright, there's a lot of light coming through the windows, of course. Then when it turns upside down, um, the windows are under the water. There's still light coming through, but um, I, have a head, I had a headlight on, and, uh, and there's still quite a bit of light inside, so there was enough to see. And, um, but like I say, once it gets upside down, you, it takes a few minutes to find, your, find yourself. I start looking for my, my control unit on the floor, and of course it's above my head. And uh, so you really have to be careful, because if the boat is 19 feet wide, and uh, if you're on the high side and you take a tumble down to the low side into the carbon shelving, it, it's a long ways to go. How realistic is this test? Is a boat that size, could it really get flipped upside down? Actually it can. It, um, it's one of those things that um, you could, in, in the Southern Ocean, in 60 foot waves, 70 foot waves, uh, regularly these boats get knocked down and the masts get broken on them. Um, turned upside down, uh, it wouldn't happen very often, although it did happen in the 2000, and, or sorry, the 1996 race. Um, Jerry Roos was lost, actually, in, in a boat similar to that, uh, to this one. But um, as a result of that disaster, of course, uh, the rule has changed drastically. These boats, uh, in those days, this test wasn't required, but now it is. So the boats are much, much safer.